Let's solve these problems. Evaluate the following integral. So let's start with 1. Integral of e raised to 2x times quantity e raised to 2x plus 5 raised to the 6 dx. Okay, so we can use u substitution here. Let u be equal to e raised to 2x plus 5. So we will have u equal e raised to 2x plus 5. And then get the derivative of both sides. So derivative of u, that's du. Derivative of e raised to 2x plus 5. So for the derivative of e raised to 2x first. So that will be e raised to 2x times by chain rule. The derivative of 2x is 2 plus derivative of 5, 0 times dx. So we will have du is equal to e raised to 2x times 2 plus 0. So we are left with e raised to 2x dx. So notice that we have created this term on the original integral, e raised to 2x dx. But we don't want this extra coefficient of 2 since we don't have that in the original integral. Let's get rid of that by dividing both sides by 2. So we will have 1 half du equals e raised to 2x dx. So if we try to substitute, we will have the integral of so e raised to 2x plus 5, that's u, raised to the 6th power. And then this e raised to 2x dx, that's equal to 1 half du. So this 1 half is just a constant we can put in front of the integral. So we will have 1 half integral of u to the 6 du. So we can apply power rule here for the integral of u to the 6 du. That is if we have the integral of u to the n du, it's equal to u to the n plus 1 over n plus 1 plus c, provided that n is not equal to negative 1. So the integral of u to the 6 du will be u to the 6 plus 1, over the same exponent, 6 plus 1 plus c. So we will have 1 half times u to the 6 plus 1, that's 7, over 6 plus 1, 7 plus c. So let's multiply 1 half times 1, 7, that will be 1 over 14, u to the 7 plus c. And for the final answer, let's just substitute back the u in terms of x, which is e raised to 2x plus 5. So we will have 1 over 14 u, which is e raised to 2x plus 5 raised to the 7 plus c. So this is the final answer. For number 2, we have the integral of 7 dx over x quantity ln x minus 3 raised to the 4th power. Okay, so let's apply u substitution. So we can let u be equal to, let's write this expression ln x minus 3, getting the derivative of both sides, derivative of u du, derivative of ln x minus 3. So for ln x, the derivative is simply 1 over x minus the derivative of 3, 0 times dx, or we will just have du equal to 1 over x dx. Notice that we have this term on the original integral, dx over x, okay? So if we try to substitute, we will have the integral of, so this 7 is just a constant, so we can put in front of the integral first. So we will have 7 integral of, so this dx over x, or 1 over x dx, that's now equal to du. Then all over, ln x minus 3, that's equal to u, raised to the fourth power. So to evaluate this integral, we can transform this 1 over u to the 4th as negative exponent. So we will have 7 integral of u to the negative 4 du. Applying power rule again, we will have 7 times the integral of u to the negative 4. That will be u to the negative 4 plus 1 over negative 4 plus 1 plus c. Simplifying, we will have 7 u to the negative 4 plus 1. That's negative 3 over negative 4 plus 1, negative 3 plus c. So we will have 7 over negative 3 or simply negative 7 over 3. Then if we transform u to the negative 3 with a positive exponent, it's equal to 1 over u raised to the third power plus c. And then we transform back the u in terms of x, which is ln x minus 3. So the final answer will be 
negative 7 over 3 u which is ln x minus 3 raised to the third power plus c. So this is the final answer. For number 3, we have the integral of cosine x times the fourth root of sine x dx. So if we use u substitution, let u be equal to, so let's try sine x. Okay, getting the derivative of both sides, derivative of u du. Derivative of sine x, that's positive cosine x dx. So notice that we have that term on the original integral, cosine x dx. So we'll substitute, it's just equal to du. So we will have the integral of fourth root of sine x, which is u. And then this cosine x dx, it's equal to du. To evaluate this integral, let's transform this radical, 4th root of u, in terms of fractional exponent. So, 4th root of u is equal to u to the 1 fourth du. And applying power rule, integral of u to the 1 fourth, that will be u to the 1 fourth plus 1 over 1 fourth plus 1 plus c. Simplifying, we will have u raised to 1 fourth plus 1, that's 5 fourths, over 1 fourth plus 1, 5 fourths plus c. So, let's simplify this 1 over 5 fourths. So, get the reciprocal of 5 fourths. That will be 4 fifths u to the 5 fourths plus c. And then, let's substitute back the u in terms of x, which is sine x. So, the final answer will be 4 fifths u, which is sine x, raised to 5 over 4 plus c. Okay, so now it's your turn. So try to evaluate this integral and just comment your answers.